ہوتی ومن ومن کتاب من ان تامن ہو بتن تارن یو ان دہی لائن امنگ دیز پیپل آف دی بک دیر آر سم دیر از دیر آر سم ہوم اف یو گیو ان ہوز کا اسٹوڈی اف یو گیو اے لاٹ آف ویلتھ تن تارن دے ول ریٹرن اٹ ٹو یو یو ان دہی لائک ومن ہو من ان تامن من ان تامن ہو بے دینارن اینڈ دیر از امنگ دیم If you trust him with only one dinar, la yu ad nahi le, he will not return it to you illa ma dun ta'alehe qaima, except if you keep standing over his head. You can only extract back your, your one dinar from him with force. Otherwise, he is not going to return it to you. Now, this is, you know, very important. That Quran wants and is doing justice to them also. All of them were not so bad. Individually, some people were present. In the Jews, although they were, this percentage was very low, but in the Christians, it was quite high at the time of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There were people of knowledge, who were knowledgeable and who were practicing their deen. You know the Buhaira Rahim, he recognized Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in his childhood. Then you know a Christian, a knowledgeable person, he guided Hazrat Salman a Farsi radhi Allah ta'ala and under his guidance Hazrat Salman came to the Arabian Peninsula and he could join the party of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he became the companion of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In the same way you know that the ruler of the Alexandria, he sent to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam presents, Herakl, Heraklius. He also had recognized Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So people among Christians, you know, there were people who were very much knowledgeable and they were, you know, having good characters. But among the Jews even, there were certain people. After all, Abdullah ibn Salam, razi Allah ta'ala anhu, he was a very big alim among the Jews. He was a rabbi and he accepted Islam, embraced Islam. And he was a very true and sincere sahabi of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Quran acknowledges whatever good was there in them. Min hum, there are among them persons who are so honest that if you entrust a treasure, a very big amount of gold in their custody, they will prove to be ameen, they will be trustworthy, they will return it to you. But among them there are, there are people whom at, if you entrust even one dinar, you will not be able to get it back. Except by force, illa madum ta'ala hai qaima. If you keep standing over his head, then you, you may get your dinar wapas. Otherwise, you know, there's no possibility of your dinar getting back. So this is the condition in which the, this nation was at that time. Zalika bi annahum kalu. Why have they degraded to such low level morally? What is the reason? Zalika bi annahum kalu lais alayna fi lummiyin a sabil. This is the dogma. And this has been given in detail in a picture, in a, in, a, in a documentary that was prepared here regarding the teachings of Talmud. You might have seen it. And now the, the person who prepared that documentary, I think he has been killed. He, the other is Rahim. So Talmud actually, they don't act on Torah basically. Their, their legal code is Talmud. Their practices are basically they are derived from Talmud. That is their book of action. Torah, you know, it is a book of history. Mostly it is a book of history. The, the, the real Sharia of Yahud, the real commandments, the real laws and regulations, details, they are in the Talmud. And in Talmud it is clearly written that at about Gentiles and Goyams, you are free to do whatever you like. You cheat them, you deceive them, you rob them, you kill them. You can do whatever you like to do. And there will be no question from you on the day of judgment. You will not be accountable. You will not be questionable on account of doing any injustice, doing any dishonesty with any non-Jew. The non-Jew whom they call the Gentiles. They are the Gentiles. They are the, the Goyams. They are like animals. They are only in human form. They are really, they are animals. Quran also testifies to this creed of theirs. Lalika bi anna kalu laisa alayna fi lummiyina sabeel. This is because they have concocted a belief that we have, we are not to be blamed for anything about these ummiyin. And who are ummiyin? Who have no book? The non-Jews. They were without law. They were the ummiyin of Arab. 
and now they say this word is used by the by the Jews for every human being who is not Jew, who is not a Jew. We can do anything with the with them the like. And they are assigning lie to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is a big lie. Ascribe a false and forged thing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they are doing it knowingly. Bala man awfa bi ahdihi wa taqa. Why not? Whosoever fulfills his covenant with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The covenant that we made with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before coming in this world. That was the covenant which is described in Surah Al-Araf. Alastu bi rabbikum kalu bala. So number one covenant, number two covenant. Every Muslim, he makes a covenant. Samayna wa ta'ana. We listen and we obey. In the same way, the Jews made a covenant when Torah was given to them. So whosoever fulfills his covenant with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what taqa? And he was God-fearing. He saved himself from breaking the divine law and breaking the divine injunctions. In Allah, yuhibbul muttaqeen. So Allah loves such people who are God-fearing, who are pious. In the ladina yashtaruna bi ahadillahi wa aymanihim sabanan qadila. Verily those log, those people, verily those people who barter Allah's covenant and their oaths for a very small price. They are bartering away, they are selling the book of Allah, they are selling the fatwas, they are selling the deen, they are selling you so, so to say their own covenants and the, 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 the agreement that they made with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and what are they getting? Some worldly things? Are they very valuable? No, some are qalila, for very low price. Ulaika la khalaqa lahum fil akhirah. For them there will be no share in the hereafter. Wala yukallamuhum Allah. Allah will not speak to them, talk to them. Wala yanduru ilayhim yawm al qiyamah. And will not look towards them on the day of judgment. Wala yudakkihim. And will not purify them. Wala hum azabun alim. And for them will be a very painful torment, very painful punishment. وَإِنَّ مِنْهُمْ لَفَرِيقًا يَلْفُونَ أَلْسِنَكَهُمْ بِالْكِتَابِ And from among them there are a people, there are some group who used to twist their tongues with this book to distort its meanings. Just as we have seen in the examples سَمِعْنَا وَعَصَيْنَا أَطَعْنَا چَيْتُ عَصَيْنَا رَعِنَا چَيْتُ رَعِينَا So there are from among them some people who twist their tongues with the book لَتَحْسَبُوهُ مِنَ الْكِتَابِ So that you must suppose that this is the book of Allah that they are reading. What they are saying is in the book of Allah. وَمَا هُوَ مِنَ الْكِتَابِ While that is not from the book. They are creating it by the twist of their tongues. وَيَقُولُونَ هُوَ مِنِ اللَّهِ And they are claiming that it is from Allah. وَمَا هُوَ مِنِ اللَّهِ And really it is not from Allah. وَيَقُولُونَ عَلَى اللَّهِ الْكَذِبِ And they are ascribing towards Allah whatever is wrong and, 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 and a lie and false وَهُمْ يَعْلَمُونَ and they are doing it knowingly مَا كَانَ لِبَشَرٍ وَيُوتِيَهُ اللَّهُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحُكْمَ وَالْنُبُوَةِ It is not possible. It, not, it doesn't become of a human being. مَا كَانَ لِبَشَرٍ وَيُوتِيَهُ اللَّهُ الْكِتَابَ That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives him the book وَالْحُكْمَ and the wisdom وَالْنُبُوَةَ and the prophethood سُمَّ يَقُولَ لِلنَّاس and then he may say to the people, Kunu ibadal li, be bondsmen to me, serve me, worship me, min dun Allah, along with Allah or instead of Allah. Min dun means two, two things. Instead of Allah, don't, don't worship Allah, worship me. This is actually, this criticism is towards the Christians. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave Hazrat Isa alayhi salam al-kitab, he gave him al-hukm, the wisdom, he gave him the prophethood. Now, how was it possible that he would have said, he could have said to the people, you should worship me. You should hold me as a God. You should accept me as a God with Allah or besides Allah or instead of Allah. The only thing that he could say was, you should become godly. You should become people of Allah. You should become the bondsmen to Allah. You should become the worshippers of Allah. بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تُعَلِّمُونَ الْكِتَابِ On the basis of which, in accordance with how you have been reading the book and you have been teaching the book. 
the book that you have been teaching to people that is Torah that actually Torah contradicts every statement of yours Torah says Allah is one Torah is against shirk so how can you expect Hazrat Jesus Hazrat Masih that he might have asked the people that they should they to worship him walakin kunu rabbaniyina bima kuntum tu'allimun al-kitaba wa bima kuntum tadrusun which what you have been studying yourself wala yamurukum an tattakhidhul malaikata wan nabiyya arbaba and it couldn't be possible for him that he could have ordered you that you accept the angels or the prophets as rabb as lords ayaburukum bil kufr ba'da idhan tum muslimun could he have ordered you commanded you to kufr after that you would be muslims it was impossible it's your own imagination it's your own concoction it's nothing to do with the reality بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وإياكم بالآيات والذكر الحكيم